Welcome back to Plan B on YouTube. I'll give my view on the current Bitcoin market based on six charts. And the first chart is the Bitcoin stock to flow model, of course. Uh, Bitcoin ended the month November at a price of $37.7 thousand dollars. And that's the highest price in um, quite some time. And with that high price, Bitcoin entered into the one standard deviation zone of the stock to flow model again the stock to flow model is this gray line and uh it's around 55 60 thousand so what usually happens is that after the halvings and the halvings are those jumps in the gray line in 2012 was the first halving then in 2016 and then 2020 and now the next halving will be 2024 in April. After those halvings, the Bitcoin price goes up. You see that in, in red. Uh, the color, by the way, is the months until the next halving. So it goes from far away from the halving to very close to zero, which is the halving. And then it turns uh, red again. So the halving is exactly here where blue turns red. Uh, and that is what I expect. To happen in April uh, 2024 again, uh, the price will rise fast towards this new line at $532,000 Bitcoin. But for now, until the next halving, historically, these blue dots are touching the gray line again. And it wouldn't surprise me if we just slowly increase towards that model value of uh, 55, uh, 60,000 or 55,000K. Okay, next chart is the Bitcoin stock to flow trading rule. So the nice thing about Bitcoin stock to flow is that it's not just numbers goes up, number goes up, NGU. Uh, it's it, it tells you when the numbers goes up. So normally those log logarithmic time models or power law time models, they just say, uh, okay, Bitcoin goes uh, up and to the right. But with stock to flow, the halvings play an important role. So you actually see, and the model tells you that the jumps in price will be around the halving. So you can build a trading rule around that. And that's what we did here. If you buy six months before the halving and sell 80 months after the halving, uh, so you would be in total 24 months, two years in the market and two years in a four year cycle out the market, then you would outperform Bitcoin buy and hold. So this is um, six months before the 2012 halving at block 210,000. So there's a halving every 210,000 blocks. If you enter the market, you would go with Bitcoin up, 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 then out the market. So the value stays the same. You would miss the bear market. And then here you go in again, but at a higher level because you missed the bear market. Then you go up with the price again and then out two years out, two years in, two years out. You would be at 130,000 right now instead of 37,000. And the good news is we are uh, six months before the halving. Um, November was actually the first month uh, where this, this trading rule went in the market. So it's already at a nice uh, plus 9% profit for November. And we'll be tracking this rule uh, based on the stock to flow, based on the halving cycle uh, for the next couple of months, years. And I'll update you guys on that. Third chart is a technical analysis indicator. A technical analysis means that it's based on historical price data only. So no fundamental data like stock flow, no uh, on-chain data, just price information like you would on, uh, find on, on stocks or bonds. Uh, so this is RSI, Relative Strength Index. It's a momentum indicator. It shows you bull markets, bear markets, greed, fear, uh, you could say it shows you uh, the human emotion and uh, that will not go away. There will always be greed. There will always be fear. So you see the bull markets, uh, 
2013, 2017, 21. Um, and you see the bear market, and we're just recovering from uh, the latest bear market in 2022, uh, part of 23. Um, yeah, going towards the next bull market, in my opinion. And again, here the color overlay is the months until the next halving. So the halvings are where the blue dot turns into the red dot. Here at 70, RSI 70. Here it's at RSI 65. And here it's at 55. So historically, the halvings are in this range between 55 and 70 uh, RSI. And mind you, everything above 50 is uptrend. So it, it, it means that, that we will, if, if that happens again, which is what I assume, um, we will rise, uh, not like in a, a full-fledged bull market, but we will rise slowly towards the next red dot, the next halving. And um, yeah, so that's, that's very interesting to see for the, for the next couple of months. Now, another technical analysis indicator is a moving average, just a simple moving average. In this case, the 200 week moving average. So that's almost four years. Um, we just look at the, uh, that's the gray line. The average price of the last two years is right now 30,000. And the nice thing about the 200 week moving average is it's always going up, never goes down. And Bitcoin, yeah, it used to be always above the 200-week moving average, but that, of course, has changed in the last bear market, which was, therefore, uh, the worst bear market we've ever seen. So congratulations, everybody, if you survived it. That's, this was the worst. We're getting out of it. We're now above the 200-week uh, moving average. Um, and, and again here, the color is the, the, the time element, the, the months until the next halving. So... Usually the halvings are um, two times above the, uh, the moving average or, in this case, 50% above the moving average. And that would mean, in, in, in this case, uh, that we would... No, I would not be surprised if we see a halving at uh, 45 to 60-ish, that range would be uh, historically uh, consistent. Let's go to the on-chain charts. Realized price, we all know that. Realized price is a bit like the moving average, but the price is the average cost price of all the Bitcoins on-chain. So there's 19.5 million Bitcoins. When did they last change? When did they last transact? At that price is taken into the average. So you can interpret this black line, the realized cost price, as the average cost price of all the Bitcoins out there. But one disadvantage is that there is also the 1 million Satoshi coins in there. Um, so that, that those were the first million coins and the price was close to zero. And that drags and drags and that keeps this this black line quite low. That's why I prefer to look at a two-year realized um, price. And that's, that's the same, but only for the last two years of coins. And then an even more recent um, indicator is the, the five-month realized price. So that's the, the cost price of the last five months. And uh, it's also called the short-term holder price. What we see, what's important, is that Bitcoin is above all the realized prices, so above all the cost prices, and uh, all the realized cost prices are increasing. And that is very consistent with uh, earlier bear markets or pre uh, bull markets, sorry, pre bull markets. Just before we go into a bull market, we see the um, Bitcoin price move from below all those realized prices to above the realized prices. Same here, same here. And then it stays above all the realized prices and the realized cost prices will increase sharply. So that's what we're looking at now. When will this realized price increase? And if you look well 
you can see that happening a little bit. So we'll be watching that into the future. I think it will keep increasing from here. Bitcoin realized returns, the other side of the coin. So these are not the 19.5 million Bitcoins that are in the UTXO set at the moment. These are the coins that were sold last month, that were sold in November. Uh, so I look up the cost price, what, what did the sellers buy those coins for, for, and what's the return they made. Can be negative, blue, here in the bear markets. So this is where they cut losses, they sell at a loss. Uh, it can be red, and that's in the bull markets where they uh, they take considerable considerable profits, like 50 or 60 percent. And right now we're a bit in between, at 22 percent profit, um, slightly below last month, which was 28 percent profit. But it's it's important to note that these yellow dots, yellow greenish dots, are in between blue. And red. So I think this is an indication, especially those last two months, those yellow dots, uh, that the, the bull market is building and around the corner. Bitcoin in profit. What we do is we look at all the 19.5 million Bitcoins. We look up what the cost price was. It's a bit like the um, realized cost price, the realized um, uh, price. And then uh, we count what percentage of Bitcoin is in profit. And that turns out to be 87% at the moment. So 87% of all the 19.5 million Bitcoins out there is in profit. Obviously, that's everything that everybody that bought before 21. Only the all-time high buyers, basically, uh, the 21 all-time high buyers are um, in, in a loss. Uh, so those are the 13% the Bitcoins that are still holding on their, their losses. And uh, yeah, bull markets are marked uh, by red, uh, where everything, ev everything is in, 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 um, in profit. So that's what we are uh, hoping to see soon. Uh, orange first, and then red. And that's when we know the real bull market has started. And... This, by the way, is my second most important model after stock to flow, of course. Stock to flow gives you a rough estimation into the future what level, order of magnitude, level of Bitcoin price you can expect after a halving. The market cycle model cannot look into the future, but it can tell you which phase you, we are in. So there's four phases. There's a uh, pre-bull market, then a real bull market, then a pre-bear market, and a real bear market. We can also call this accumulation, bull market, distribution, liquidation, but the name doesn't matter much, the color doesn't matter either. Um, what matters is that we know we are in a pre-bull market phase. It's very distinct, um, and we're waiting of course for the green, uh, for the blue to turn red for the full bull market. And well, I, I will, um, of course, notify you once I see it. Um, I expect that after the halving, by the way. So that will, uh, we'll have to be patient for another couple of months, at least five months, I think. But it's, uh, it could be earlier as well. We'll see. Thank you very much and see you next time.